So I made it up for this trip on a Thursday evening, and I was sure glad I did. The moonrise alone made it worthwhile. Caught this bird flying through it. It's pretty amazing. So here's the concept of a bike hike. You stash the bike, in this case at camp, drive the truck around to a trailhead, then you hike back to camp, well, or wherever the bike is stashed, and drive it back to the truck in most cases. That's not exactly how we're going to do it in this case. Now, the Forest Service provides us with these little maps. I've kind of stolen it. I turn it so that you have a north up orientation and we're at the truck at this moment in time so we're just gonna take off on our little hike and at this point I'm on foot and basically we're going over to the rim trail which is sort of the circular affair that um, we have here in northern Arizona and right about now if I go left that would be the Pomeroy tanks trail which is actually how we're going to come back in this afternoon uh, but we want to go right which is toward Sycamore Falls and Double Tanks and really our camp as well Double Tanks is about the halfway point it's about three miles now the way I've done this is I've sort of created these little one second stills to kind of give you an idea of what this trail is all about and as you can see I picked a wonderful fall morning, this is October 9th, to do this hike. And, um, and it's about a mile later, we end up over at Sycamore Falls. And uh, we're going to deviate from the trail here real quickly, just so I can show you the falls, which is kind of a cool little spot. We've made it this far um, on our trail. Now, Again, it's one of those great mornings. Uh, couldn't do any better, actually. I thought I'd throw this rock down there just so you can see, give you an idea how far that is. It's a little farther than you'd want to drop. So we're going to jump back on a trail, and uh, it mostly just goes right along the rim. Um, sometimes you're kind of way up on top, and other times you're right over next to the rim with these glorious views and wonderful little places to walk and uh, it's just as one of my all-time favorite places to hike now we've made it over to the Vista that's where we came from this is where we're gonna go down to the double tanks uh, entry which is only a few hundred yards that way but first let's go over let's have a look off this Vista and that is Sycamore Canyon which I'm told is the second largest canyon in Arizona. Um, as it gets down further it opens up more. The largest canyon, I think you know what that is. It starts with Grand. Uh, but anyway, here we are down at Double Tanks and um, we'll go over and take a quick look at the map just to give you an idea. I think this is actually the map I sort of stole my map from. So we've made it over to this point. Now, that's one of the double tanks right there. You notice there's not a whole lot of water in it. And you can see the trail is pretty varied. Sometimes it's really rough. Other times it's not rough at all. So, you know, if you're a bike raider, uh, you gnarly guys won't have any trouble with, with it. I love that log, by the way. Uh, but uh, the rest of us, I see it's a little too rocky for me to ride. You can see we're right over by the edge. We can stop at any moment in time. Just be careful when you get over close to the edge because you could slip. But we're not going to. Anyway, uh, if you look on the other side, there's your Boy Scout camp. And um, it's, you know, kind of one of the salient features of this. And I notice this we have one of the indigenous just sort of wandering aimlessly here in the universe. Uh, just something I also do very well um, but anyway back on the trail and uh, I notice as I come over the rim there's another of the uh, locals that seems to be enjoying that view as much as I do uh, and why not 
you'll notice that the canyon is kind of getting a lot shallower and uh, very shortly it's going to be so shallow we'll just be able to walk across it no problem whatsoever in fact that's what we're going to do right about now we're going to just sort of follow this trail along and there it is we zip right across it and here we are at the FR 131 trailhead which is quite a ways around on our trail and uh, probably one of my sick favorite parts of this trail um, there's remnants of various things from times past and beautiful country to see uh, Forest Service provided us a little excerpt from the sawmill that used to be there. There's camp. Um, and so we're very close to actually coming out on the trailhead. And uh, now about all we're going to have to do is just walk back to camp, which is really probably not only a, maybe not even a quarter mile from here. Uh, so we've made it essentially all the way around. We've done our hike part of the bike hike. So it took me a little nap and had some lunch and now I'm going to jump on the bike and uh, uh, just ride back over to the Pomeroy Trailhead. Now normally I'd ride all the way to the truck but uh, this particular hike uh, no reason to do that. And that guy can't seem to figure out which way he wants to go so I know for sure I want to go this way. Um, but anyway, uh, normally I would ride the bike quite a ways on this particular hike. It's I'm not only, well actually I only counted 22 minutes worth of uh, video on this. And I had my uh, little Sony action cam on the whole time. So, uh, but still it would have taken me probably an hour and a half, maybe two hours to actually hike this. And it's kind of boring. I don't think it would be fun to hike this. Not too bad on a bike though. But anyway, we're going to make it up here to the trailhead, which is uh, the KA trailhead. Um, that would have been another way to hike this, is just to take that trail around instead of the road. But uh, this is a little bit easier, so that's what I'm going to do. Now, adjacent to the KA trailhead is we have the Pomeroy Tanks route. Now, I'm going to try riding this, but as I remember, I've done this before with somebody I cared a great deal about it in one moment in time and uh, <laughs> it's, it hasn't changed any it's still very rocky and uh, so what I'm gonna do is jump off this bike and just stash the bike right here now I'll come back and pick this up when I'm done with uh, the hike so that puts us about right here on the map almost done so very shortly after uh, stashing the bike, um, we end up down here at the Pomeroy Tanks, and there's quite a number of them uh, along this little trailhead, and I had this little very interesting thing happen to me. Look real close here, and if you notice, there's this little snake coiled up right there on a rock, and, and I'm sure what he's doing is just worrying himself on that rock. Um, now, normally I just leave such things alone, but I was curious as to whether he was a rattlesnake or not, so I thought I'd find me a stick and just get him to move, and darn if it wasn't a rattlesnake, which kind of surprised me a little bit. I was a little bit surprised to see one up here at this altitude, and uh, it's also kind of late in the season to see one that small. Uh, but I was when I was a kid, I was taught to hate rattlesnakes and uh, I've since learned that that's probably just a prejudice uh, the truth of the matter is this guy here has got his purpose out here he probably eats grasshoppers he, who knows he might eat tarantulas uh, but anyway uh, he, he has his thing he does and some other critter might come along with some red tailed hawk or golden eagle or whatever and eat him uh, in other words they have this perfect system worked out and um, I gotta remember that when I'm out here I'm just uh, uh, a guest and so I leave them alone I just say to heck with it you know 
that's that's a snake and I glad I got to see him I only see a couple of them a year I think this year I've seen maybe two uh, usually I don't see any and uh, I get out a lot so I don't think they're a big threat to anybody so I'm gonna jump back on the trail here and um, I'm probably gonna pay pretty close attention though because I know those critters are living here and I sure wouldn't want to step on one but anyway we get up here I notice there's a little right detour you can take which takes you up to this gorgeous tank which I caught on an absolutely perfect day nice cloudy day the leaves were changing beautifully we got the lily pads uh, well I don't think I could have caught this tank any better but uh, anyway it's a little bit off the beaten path to your right uh, about the time you start to come out of this thing and um, as you can see that's what we're doing right now and we make that truck back to the pickup and that's how you do a bike hike all after do is pick up the bike on the way back and uh, we got another one in the books another great camping trip go camping